Hey everyone, it's Dee here for the sign of Cancer for September of 2018. Um, I wanted to say 16, so I don't know if um, we'll get to it, but just remember 2016. What was going on in 2016? Um, two important announcements before I go with the reading is one, yes, I'm giving away the free 12 free tarot card readings that I do every month. So just make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the, um, and make sure you comment on this video. If you're cross watching or checking out your moon or rising signs, you're more than welcome to comment on those videos as well to increase your chances of winning. I will be drawing those winners, um, about the 26th or 27th of September. So make sure that you hit the subscribe and comment below and hit that like button for me too if you like the video. Um, the second thing is that I'm really getting into the heal healing aspect. You know, I am a healer. I'm a Reiki master. So, um, you know, if you would like to do a healing session with me, it's 45 minutes. We talk about what's where you're stuck, what's holding you back. If you don't even know, I'll bring it to your attention. Um, and then we go into a Reiki session of music and relaxation and just basically intention of raising vibrations, getting you unstuck, going back, releasing energy. Um, so usually it's $95 for 45 minutes, but for September only, I'm giving it away for $65. So if you're interested, the link will be in the description below. All right, guys. So the energy that I was feeling when I was going shuffling the cards was uneasiness. I just felt uneasiness. Um, and the card that popped out was the Ten of Swords here. So for some of you, I'm getting that this is a big, it's an ending, but it's a beginning. So, and it, it might feel a little bit uncomfortable. All right. So something ended and now it's like the beginning is happening and it's like, it's not what you're used to is what I'm getting. And with the page of cups, I feel as though you kind of need to just sit in it. You just need to sit in it. Like you need to sit in that uncomfortableness, right? I feel as though, and I have experienced this through my spiritual journey, is that the most important thing that you have to learn in order to go through a spiritual journey is to sit in the uncomfortableness, is to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. I know it sounds crazy, but it is true because every lesson in order to see the lesson of whatever ended here, you're going to have to be uncomfortable about it. Because people that don't sit in that uncomfortableness, they push it down. And then that's when I get involved because their energy is stuck in their body and it's hurting them, right? Some people have acid reflux, some people have anxiety, some people get headaches. So because you're pushing down and you're suppressing something that needs to be released, something that needs to be felt and dealt with rather than be pushed about, pushed back and, and forgotten. And, um, you know, I don't want to deal with that. So with this 10 of swords, you know, it's like a stab in the back. There's a lot, it's dead. It's done. It's, it's gone. There's no rekindling here. Okay. But it's time to sit in that and realize that it was an ending, but yes, this is a new beginning right? One chapter ends, another begins. One door closes, another one opens. And you're uncomfortable because you're not sure what that means. You're uneasy because I'm getting like, I'm not sure what it's supposed to bring. I'm not sure how this is all going to play out. That's okay. I'm here to tell you that that's okay. Because you're moving forward. You've got the eight of wands. You're moving forward to better. You're moving forward to more of what you want. Uh, maturity is also what I'm getting here. Um, Self-worth, self-love. I feel like you're charging forward. You got the Knight of Pentacles. So you're, you're charging forward. You're taking action. And that's making you a little bit nervous because maybe it's not something that you usually do. Maybe you sit in the comfort zone. Maybe you, you, know, you, you stay where you, what you know. And this is unknown territory, uncharted waters, right? And, but you're taking that action for you because you got the, the hermit card and then you also got the six of pentacles here. So this might have to do with work. You know, it might have to do for work with some of you because we are, I'm getting a lot of pentacles and wands. So this definitely could have to do with work, 
but I'm also getting for, it's a lot of, uh, even if it is a work situation, I'm getting that it's an internal issue. Okay. No matter what situation you're in, love, work, family, children, whatever it is, um, it's what's going on inside that is the issue. Because if you can heal and feel uncomfortable and let it come up, even, you know, I feel like there's something right now that you're uncomfortable with. But I feel like there's much more from the past that you've suppressed through all of these years. And again, when I was saying 18, I was brought back to 16. So look back in 2016 and see where you were. See what was happening around then. Because I feel for some of you, and again, it's a general reading, all right? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But for some of you, 2016, that's really when maybe some things got pushed down. And that's why you're in the situation you're in right now, um, or you're still feeling it, or you're stuck, okay? Um, but that hermit card is all about going within, realizing more about yourself, um, it's just learning, acknowledging awareness about you. And that six of pentacles here for me on, in this deck is always about walking your own path. doesn't matter what other people say. Do what makes you happy. And take your time. Take your time is also what I'm getting for you guys. Have the patience. Enjoy the journey because the destination isn't the best part. It's the journey along the way. It's the people you meet along the way. It's the feelings you have, the acknowledgements, the awareness, the, um, the epiphanies that you get along the way that make it that more exciting to get to the destination. All right, so towards the middle of the month, hmm, I feel like it's a contradiction, but towards the middle of the month, you have, I'll just... Let's see what I get here. Three of Swords, the Empress. Uh, for some of you, for some of you, I feel like you might be getting your heart broken due to a pregnancy. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like your heart is broken because somebody else is pregnant. All right. Um, And Okay, so I'm just going to read the storyline and then I'll go back for a general reading here. But for some of you here, it's you're going to get the news that somebody else is pregnant and it's going to break your heart. And it's time you got the Ten of Wands about carrying a burden, letting it go, ending it, right? So you've got the cycle that ended over here. So I'm thinking that towards the middle of September, you might jealous. I'm getting a lot of jealousy, a lot of defeat, a lot of can't go on because of someone else's success. All right. Now it could be pregnancy because, uh, you know, she is pregnant here in this picture. Um, but this is also, and it's a mother card, the Empress. Um, yeah, I feel like someone, someone's shining in the middle. So there's somebody in the spotlight and your energy or vice versa. Maybe you're shining in the spotlight, but somebody else can't take it. Okay. It's time to let go of whatever that situation is. It's either time to let go of the person or it's time to let go of the thoughts surrounding it because you do have the queen of cups, which is kind of another motherly card, but it's compassion and love. And now uh, towards the end of September, you have the chariot, which is moving forward towards the queen of pentacles energy. All right. So you go from, um, you have the knight of pentacles about taking action. You go from the queen of cups to the queen of pentacles. So that's actually in advance. This is the queen of pentacles is about emotion, understanding, love, compassion, and then you, to the queen of pentacles, right? So you're moving forward. It's going to take some effort. It's going to take some work, but you get to that abundance, knowing that that manifestation, right? Knowing what you think is coming, knowing what you thinking something and it comes. That's that to me, that's that queen of pentacles and you're moving towards that. But then you have, and I usually don't do reversals, but the six of cups came up reversed. And when this is right upright, I always see, I always say like, this is your inner child and it, you're giving the light to yourself, but this is reversed. So when I look at this here and with the 10 of cups right next to it, I feel like you've got to let something go and give compassion to somebody else 
I'm getting adoption here for some reason. I'm getting adoption. Um, Because you have you have the service card over here as well. This is your um, these are chakra cards. So this is your um, sacral chakra, and for me, this is about giving to others, right? So that light, it's like giving. If it was upright, it was giving it to yourself. But I feel like you need to share that with somebody else now, and that's that ten of cups. For some of you that are in a relationship. I'm getting, uh, hold on a second. Let me, let me feel this guys. I'm getting, don't keep it to yourself. I'm getting to take that light and give it to somebody else, shine it on somebody else, make somebody else's day better. I'm getting to, Uh, and I'm getting fear along with that. Like I'm getting that like you know what the right thing is. And with the right thing I mean like a right mindset, a positivity. And it's like it's time for you to share that with somebody else. But share it in the way of the Queen of Cups over here somewhere. Um, is, is in compassion, in love for others. Okay? It's not in jealousy. It's, it's be happy for those around you that are successful. And I'm not saying, see I'm not, not doing this right for you guys. Because I don't feel as though your energy is like that. Uh, I'm getting here. Be supportive and shine your light and give that compassion to people that you don't even think deserve it. Okay? Um, people that have treated you bad or things that didn't work out is instead of holding that grudge, which I think is kind of where that uncomfortable feeling is coming from, is to to share that light, to share that love, all right? You do have the discovery card over here, and I'm getting that you're going to... I'm getting. I'm just going to kind of channel this, guys. I, I'm kind of like trying to go against it, and I'm just going to let it come in. So uh, usually I don't know what I say after, but the discovery card. So I'm I'm getting to discover that it's not all about you, and not in a selfish kind of righteous stuck up way that your path, your journey is about others. It's about sharing what you know with others. It's about sharing that light with others. It's about helping them through what you've already been through. Okay. And I'm getting for you by the end of September that this is going to come in full play, that you're going to have to shine that light or give your light to somebody else. Now make sure it doesn't drain you so deeply but you've got enough I feel like your energy is very high you ended something you've moved on you're charging forward you're seeing it you're learning you're being aware by the end of the month somebody's going to be seeking your help okay and that is going to be the time and you're going to feel good in that you're going to feel powerful you not powerful you're going to feel helpful you're going to feel blissful you're you're going to feel emotionally connected all right it's going, I feel like that's going to be an epiphany. Just, I think I said that throughout this reading is that it's not always the destination. It's the journey. It's those epiphanies that you get. And I feel like at the end of September, you're going to be having one of those epiphanies where something is going to be like, holy crap, that felt so good. I want more of that. Okay. And it might jump you into something different, a different direction. Um, it, you know, however that resonates with you guys, I'm going to leave that with that, but that's the message that's coming through is that you're going to discover that it's not always it's not all about you that when you give to others and you help others that's when you feel your best okay that's the discovery and you've got that service card there so whatever that is for you maybe it's with animals maybe it's with the elderly maybe it's with your children maybe it's with your spouse whatever that is when you when you help others serve others and enhance other people's lives that's when your true potential, your true happiness really comes into play. Because if it's always about you, to me, I feel like that's a loneliness. That's a lonely life. But when you expand, okay, um, and Sagittarius, so you might be dealing with a Sagittarius, I believe, just had the expansion card. So when you expand your thoughts and your horizon, that's when it's all going to come clear. Clarity is what I'm getting for you. All right. You also have the workaholic card. So 
you know, make sure and make sure that you do take this time. Make sure that you're not avoiding these this uncomfortableness because with work, with with uh, volunteering, with school, with family, with children, make sure that you're taking the time for you. Journaling, I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of people sitting on a couch, just kind of um, closed eyes, relaxing back, and just thinking and feeling however you feel. Okay, so make sure that you have that. Whew, okay. Now you have, okay, let me go back to, when I was shuffling the cards, um, I picked every single one of them and not dealt. I picked from within the deck, like as they were shuffling, cards were just kind of sticking out and I was picking them and putting them down, even over here, even this one. So I feel like there's a lot of picking and choosing on what you spend your energy on this month. All right. Make sure it's with compassion. Make sure it's not this jealousy. Make sure it's not a defeat. Make sure that it's not a lack. Okay. Make sure you spend, maybe this is the contradiction here, you know, feeling heartbroken versus feeling like everything, love, light, all of that. Make sure you end the cycle of focusing on the negative. Make sure that you, you spend your energy focusing on what you have versus what you don't. Okay. Um, because I feel like September is a lot of picking and choosing, a lot of picking and choosing, okay? I pulled out the vampire cards this month, so you guys got the nobility, and it says, honor high standards idealistic. So if you follow me, you're going to know that I read from the book on these, so, um, because the stories are amazing, and I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Okay, so nobility, so bear with me while I read this to you. So this is the card and it says there is something within you that we the vampires can recognize at this moment we want you now to focus on it recognize it and acknowledge it you have nobility people humans that is are so often confused by this word feeling one must be from an old um, and aristocratic family to have any noble blood within them but some of the most corrupt indecent and coarse humans and vampires have had aristocratic origins you have shown nobility of spirit and action, and you have behaved in a manner which has drawn our attention. We wish to encourage you to behave in these noble ways more often. Nobility is a sense of innate virtue, and being able to do what is best and right within circumstances that would have been easier had we simply fallen into step with the prevailing thinking. You have helped the helpless. You have protected one who was weaker. You have spoken for the voiceless, and you have now virtue and you have been virtuous with no thought of reward but this is the reward you did not ask for but deserve for you are as a knight or lady in the most frivolous of tales and you have lived with grace and are becoming a more refined being with every day vampires when we have learned to live beyond the instincts our new nature gives us can be noble creatures too and we must fiercely fight to become so and so we who have lived according to a code of nobility wish to honor you now and say you have done well accept the acknowledgement and know that the good deeds you have done so selflessly will ripple out into the world and make changes you may never see but your soul will now will know you made all the difference to one who was helpless and to whom you gave your aid we honor you noble sir noble lady the blessing of this card this is a wonderful opportunity to do the very best you can which in turn will shift your vibration and attract wonderful new opportunities with honorable people to you. Ten of Cups. If you deny the nobility within you, it will become easy, it will become easy to go for the lowest option again and again. This will sully your soul. How to work with this card. With this card's presence, you are asked to tune into the part of yourself that some of you call the higher self. You are being asked to do the right thing and do the best thing, even if it is not the most advantageous thing or the easiest thing. You are also being asked for a time to be of service and assistance for others and to give. Oh, I love when the cards play off each other. Service, service, ten of cups. You know, when you put yourself out there and you help the universe, I feel like you help the universe do its job or you follow the guidance of the universe to spread the joy. I feel like you cancers are becoming cancerians are becoming um, more connected, more in tune, more intuitive. Um, and you're feeling that 
And it's now time to spread that. And when you do that, the universe repays you because you're helping them spread the love and the light. And it repays you in happiness, in opportunities that come your way that you would never even imagine or dream of. And they just kind of fall in your lap. I remember I always used to look at people that were so lucky, you know, they're so lucky and like that would never happen to me, you know, but you know, now these opportunities are falling in my lap because I'm putting this out there to help others. I'm helping, I'm being of service, I'm spreading the love, the light, we're trying to, um, you know, so at this time in September, I feel like you're going to feel more connected, especially when you take that chance, um, take the time to sit down and really be uncomfortable and feel it. Feel it and move from it and grow from it, okay? Whatever this kind of swords ending that you left behind. So this could be a person, situation, um, whatever that is for you, however it resonates. But this is your time, all right? Um, I'm really excited to see what October holds from you from after seeing this. Because if you take this opportunity and you grow and you acknowledge and you become aware and you use that intuition and you be of service to others and you, and you bask in that feeling... Um, I'm really excited to see what October holds for you guys. All right. I hope that uh, resonates with you. Again, if you want the chance to win the free reading, just make sure you hit the subscribe button and then also comment below um, in order to enter to win. And then um, if you're interested in a healing session to push you through or get you to the next step here, the link is in the description. All right. Much love to you guys. I'll talk to you in October. Bye.